And now for the ultimate challenge. One last chance for either of the teams to win. You've got 60 seconds, one minute, to answer 10 questions in the category of your choice. Every correct answer is worth 50 points. Although you're allowed to work as a team, I shall only respond to the first answer given. The score stands at 190 for the University for Development Studies, Ghana, against 390 for African Nazarene University, <coughs> Kenya. But it's still anyone's game because the ultimate challenge is worth 500 points. The University for Development Studies, you're behind, so you play first. Remember, the ultimate challenge is the ultimate choice. Have a look at our four final categories, and they are Poetry in Motion, Russia, In the Atlantic Ocean, Country from Languages. In the Atlantic Ocean. It is. Take a deep breath, gentlemen. Which word formed from the letters in Atlantic Ocean is, and seconds away, not any, not a single one. Many. Many. No? No. Pass. One's motive or purpose. Intent. Intent. Yes. An adjective for the continental plates. Tectonic. Pass. Yes. A state of immobility and stupor. Tupor. No. From a foreign land or place. Alien. 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 Yes. A renter, such as the one of Wildfell Hall. Tenant. Tenant. Yes. Cotton fabric or type of cat. Linen. Linen. No. Links. Links. To hide something. Pass. 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 Okay, keep it. Like someone from Sparta, Sparta. using few words. Sparta. No. A hydrocarbon with eight carbon atoms. Pass. Not any, not a, a single lot, one. Lot. A lot, lot. No. A state of immobility and stupor. Pass. Cotton fabric Links. or type Links. of cat. No. Pass. To hide something. Conceal. Conceal. Yes. Like someone from Sparta using Pass. few words. A hydrocarbon. Octane. Yes. Not any, not a single Lots. one. No. A state of immobility and stupor. Lost it. You answered six questions correctly in the ultimate challenge, giving you 300 points and a grand total of 490. Let's have a look at the ones that you got wrong. Not any, none or nil. State of stupor, catatonia, cotton fabric, calico, using few words, laconic. African Nazarene University, Kenya, you're now 100 points behind and you need three correct answers in order to win. Which of our three remaining categories might you choose? Country from languages. Country from languages it is. Take a deep breath, gentlemen and ladies. Given its three most widely spoken languages, name the country and seconds away, Mien Fang and French. Myanmar. No. Flemish, Dutch and French. Belgium. Yes. Creole, English and Mende. Sierra Leone. Yes. Arabic, Kurdish and Azerbaijani. Azerbaijan. No. French, Jula and Moor. Pass. English, Maori and Samoan. New Zealand. Yes. Bambara, French and Senufo. Mali. Yes. Bemba, Tonga and English. Tonga. No. Arabic, Dinka and Bedawiye. Sudan. Yes. Portuguese, Umbundu and Kimbundu. Angola. Uh, yes. Mian Fang and French. Pass. Arabic, Kurdish and Azerbaijani. Afghanistan. No. French, Jula and Moor. Morocco. No. Bemba, Tonga and English. Papua New Guinea. No. Mian Fang and French. Uh, Tunisia. Burma. No. Arabic. Hmm. Time's up. You also answered six questions correctly in the ultimate challenge, giving you 300 points, but bringing you to a grand total of 690. And with that, African Nazarene University, Kenya, is the winner of today's Zane Africa Challenge. Let's have a look at the ones that you got wrong. Mien and Fang in Gabon, Arabic and Kurdish in Iraq, French and Jula in Burkina Faso, Bemba and Tonga in Zambia. The University for Development Studies, 
We have to say goodbye to you. You'll be taking away 1,500 US dollars each plus 15,000 US dollars as an institutional grant for your university. Africa Nazarene University, Kenya. Hongera, Hongezi, well done, well won. We look forward to seeing you in the semi-finals. You're still in the running to take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy and as outright winners, 5,000 US dollars each and 50,000 US dollars for your university, all courtesy of Zane. In our next game, Edgerton University, Kenya, takes on the University of Maiduguri, Nigeria, in the international inter-university battle of brains. That is the Zane Africa Challenge 2010. From all of us here, it's bye-bye till next time.